What's up everyone, welcome to Stockton, it's a pleasure to meet all of you. On this channel, we talk about stocks before they start blowing up, say goodbye to chasing stocks at all time highs and say hello to making some money. So if this sounds like something you want to take advantage of, then hit that beautiful subscribe button and like the video. Now let's get to it. Before we get into the video, I have to say that I'm not a financial advisor, anything I say is just my opinion and is for entertainment purposes only. Having said that, if I'm talking about a company, I'll let you know whether I'm personally going to invest in it or not towards the end of the video. But you should always do your own due diligence, so with that out of the way, let's get started. Hi guys, we've had some positive news from Tellurian this week that I wanted to talk to you about in a real quick video update. A couple of days ago, Sharif Suki, the executive chairman of Tellurian Inc, posted an update video on Tellurian Inc's channel and on their website, in which he basically dropped some really exciting news. Sharif Suki talks about how they already have some people on the ground that are looking at the things they need to do this summer. They plan on going through the construction process pretty quickly. He also talks about all of the things that they plan on doing this summer, which includes widening the state highway, relocating a pipeline, and carrying out soil preparation for the area. But before they can start working, they need to get a long-term lease signed by the Port Authority. So he talks about how we should look forward to hearing more about this lease soon. I think this could act as another catalyst. The day we hear more about the long-term lease being signed, the price should move up. I could also be wrong here because at this point, I would assume that it's pretty much a done deal that the lease will get signed. But correct me if, I, if you think I'm wrong here. But what is certain is that the price should move upwards based on more deal announcements. And I'm expecting more announcements by the end of next week. I think we're extremely close to hearing more about another commercial agreement. About two weeks ago, or maybe slightly over that, Sharif Suki said that we should expect more deal announcements of about 12 to 15 MTPA. We have received 6 MTPA of commercial agreements so far. So we're waiting for another 6 to 9 MTPA of agreements to be announced. Historically speaking, whenever Sharif Suki talks about a commercial deal announcement, we usually get the actual announcement within two to three weeks of him saying it, which is why I'm expecting to hear about another deal tomorrow or early next week. It's entirely possible that all of these commercial agreements are in fact already completed and Sharif Suki is just waiting for the right time to announce them. It's also interesting to see that Martin Houston, who is the chairman of Tellurian, will be attending the 7th China LNG and Gas International Exhibition and Summit. This summit ends on the 25th, so there is some speculation that a deal will be announced after the 25th of June. I feel like things have finally started working in the favor of Tellurian and I can sense that Sharif Suki's plan has slowly started to work. The pandemic made it extremely difficult for Tellurian and the short sellers could have easily bankrupted the whole company. But retail investors like you and me showed faith in Sharif Suki and he has started to deliver. Let's hope this continues onwards and upwards to the moon. That's it for today's video, have an awesome day or night and I'll see you in the next one.